Yeah, well, it was my mum's, but um, I'm kind of like the boss of it now. It's a pretty good car, 91 model, which was actually a really good year for the Pulsar. Um, it's got airbag in there. Haven't used it yet, but, you know, it's good to know it's there. I want to get the number plate legend. You've got to pay, like, 80 bucks. Daniel you know, Sims is a young man on the verge of making medical history. It's a VIP sticker. It adds a bit of value when you come to sell it. In World First Surgery, Daniel will donate one of his eardrums to his hearing-impaired twin brother, Nathan. Nathan! We're going! Yeah, Nathan's a bit retarded, but in a good way. Daniel, he's got a, some pretty big bowls to give his eardrum to Nathan. He's a bit of a hero to me and probably the rest of the family as well. If you want it, it would be good because it would um, get done on the map and hopefully get some money and shit out of it, so that'd be pretty cool. Daniel's nomination has been welcome news for the Sims family. See you, A family which has faced its fair share of tragedy. It's true where Dad died. Mum couldn't get her own way back. I'm just going into town to catch up with the boys. Back to second. Oh, he's calling out the gears. Third. Yeah, you can work it out just by feeling the vibrations and that. Staying in third. Neutral. One of the good things about being deaf. There's just heaps of shit to do around here, like, heaps of, like, you've pretty much got everything you need in here. You've got done arcade and done. There's Dunt Main Street shops, Dunt Charcoal Chicken, um, Dunt Footy Field, Dunt Train Station, Dunt um, School, Dunt. Daniel's generosity towards his brother and his Australian of the Year nomination has impressed his friends. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good for him, it's good for his brother. It's good for the town. It's good for everyone, I guess. He beats. He beats the end. Are you ready? Done. Done. This is done. Want to come to done? No, I was today, oh, like, yeah, when Nathan had his accident, we never even thought that he'd ever get his hearing back. This is Australia. Go to the post office to mail ya. Oh, it's inspiring. Like, it's all good, but, yeah, like, it, there's some worries. Like, if, if it fucks up, he could either go deaf or he could, like, fully die. He doesn't have to do it, but he's doing it. Yeah. I live on a farm, I drive a tractor. Me and Craig have got the X Factor dance. Yeah, I reckon he'll be right. And I reckon he'll win. Yeah, he's... Yeah, he's... Yeah. I'm giving up my ear, might win Australian of the year. I hope that I do, cos then I'll do a poo. You. Talk it up, mate. It's all good. Stop. Nathan! Come here, you fag! That's the weird thing about Nathan. Like, heaps of chicks in town are, like, fully into him in that because he's, like, he is slightly retarded and I think chicks are, chicks are totally into, like, attracted to spastic qualities in blokes. So that's what I'm thinking. If once I give up my ear and that, I might be more attractive to chicks than that because I'm sort of a little bit handicapped. It's two weeks to go until Daniel gives up his eardrum to Nathan. Nathan. While others consider him an inspiration and a role model... Do I had to? No, it's shit. I don't want it. For Daniel, the chance for his brother to hear again made the choice an easy one. He's a decent beatboxer. He's shit, I don't even want to listen Bullshit. to him. Bullshit, let him do it. Let He's him beat... Shit. Nathan, don't listen, just be... shit. do it. Beatbox, shut up. I'll rap over it. He can't be box his shit. When you shut up, he can't be box his shit. He can, at least he's trying, you pussy. He's fucking trying. He's dead.